Yeah. All right, cool. Hit that from the top game. So anyway, what's up, y'all? We back. You shoot talking. About to hit y'all. You said what? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh? Oh, shoot talking. Yeah, I know. This is will talk, not shoot talk. Yes, just, yes, just, ladies and gentlemen. Just glue it. I need some super glue for my shoe. Hello, shirt. I will. But we shoot. gonna act. We gonna act like this is not happening. Yes. Are you? Did you just zoom in on my shoe? <laughs> like, did you just zoom in on my shoe? What type of this? I'm not gonna stand for this. I'm not gonna stand for this. Just up, man. Just get a sponsorship. I need. I need a shoe sponsorship because yeah. I need new shoes. But anyway. <laughs> We got DMX, yeah. who's definitely about to hit us with some fire. He's coming with a Christmas drop, drop classic. Hits. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this. This is a new classic. New for classic Christmas he's hitting us with. He could have been one of the fourth Migos. He took it off. Like. <laughs> He said the same line every time. <laughs> all right, so what are your takes on this track, basically? I'm playing this all Christmas. All right. This is my drinking song. This Christmas. is apparently on like an exclusive Spotify playlist called uh, just, you know, the Spotify Singles Christmas. Right. And I think it features uh, some other tracks from like, you know, notable artists like Miley Cyrus and okay. Kelly Clarkson and Sam Smith. And so, he's the only black person. No, no, no I'm sure there's other okay. black people on it, but okay. you know, I just I think that you know you should probably take a listen to the Spotify playlist. Don't I'm, you listen to Spotify? Yeah, I love Spotify. Yeah, Spotify is great. They should give us a sponsorship. Uh, I would really like to have like an unlimited, you know, you know, streaming. So you just putting it out there, Spotify. If you're watching, hit me with the, the free streaming. I just, would really like that. Just get your trial. That's all they can provide. But um, yeah, I think this is like the new. This, uh, this is my Christmas. This one, this is the new all I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> Basically, okay. Like, Mariah Carey ain't got nothing on this Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. They, I think it's a new Christmas classic. Yeah, they sing about the same. Music. This is the new. Remember when Chris Brown redid uh, this Christmas? This Christmas. Yeah. This is the new redo. Like he, he's well, this is the Rudolph Red Nosed Reindeer that we're gonna be playing for for months. Okay. Uh, years, decades. But this is gonna be the new classic. Dmx brought back Christmas. Exactly. What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, so this is what messed me up. I seen this a few days ago. All right, shout out to T Pain. He's hitting with a new album, Oblivion. Please check that out. But right. there's no question, according to Double XL Mag, that has uh, T Pain has stacked a list of hit records. And while his throwback songs are still played consistently at parties and on the radio, I ain't heard no T Pain stuff at parties or on the radio. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe they, maybe they just saying it. It's T Pain. It, it turns out that many fans never sang the lyrics correctly. A Twitter debate was recently sparked by the Tallahassee singer's lyrics on "Buy You a Drink," and after fans reacted out to him saying that he uh, talking about him confirming that truth, right. I just messed me up. So you remember, I'ma buy you a drink, ooh wee. Yeah. I'ma take you home with me. And do what? I got money in the bank. Show you what you think about that. Remember that, right? Yeah, yeah. The he classic. does not say ooh wee. What do he say? He says like ooh and ooh yeah. Like <laughs> it's totally like not. It's like layered verse uh, vocals on there. Right. None of which are saying ooh wee at all. Like we let's play it real quick. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Don't say we. That's like some of the Illuminati type stuff. He's singing backwards. He all in the great Cadillac, but he do not ooh we at all. We all been ooh we in. We been ooh we in wrong. So he made us say ooh we because he was in that Cadillac stunt. I guess so. He was in the great yeah, Cadillac. Sure. But my whole thing is like, I think, remember the whole Sinbad thing with the Shazam movie that we kept saying that oh, he yeah, wasn't in? Oh, yeah, yeah, But we all remember this movie <laughs> that it's, never happened. It's instilled in our DNA, though. <laughs> That's what so I'm like, saying. I remember Shaq had a Shazam or something like that. Yeah. But like, oh, he was I, a genie. Or he, yeah, yeah, it was like a Shazam genie thing, <laughs> whatever. So we, we, I think we remember the real track. And what happened is on all of the internet, it got erased and <laughs> re-put with this version. Because we can't find a version of yeah. Buy You a Drink with Ooh Wee unless we look on somebody's old iPod or something we like that. We just made that shit up. Just. Anyway, next topic is the Joyner <laughs> Lucas track. And uh, 
Let's take a little view of this right here. So, basically, the video starts off with a black dude and a white dude at a table, and he's like, they're telling he, the perspective. I think yeah. it's the same guy from uh, Kodak Black's video, also. Is it real? Um, the white dude? Yeah. Are you just saying something? That'd be funny, though. Just... I don't think that this is. Okay. So, anyway, if you keep watching the video, they end up telling each other's perspective on stuff, and it has hit social media so hard. People are talking about this, how, you know, you know, we're finally seeing, you know, people's perspectives, like how white people see black people, how black people see white people, which I think we see on Twitter all the time. Yeah, it's already out there. Yeah. I mean, this is like written form and Yeah, it's like a video, form. somebody like produced it, put it together. But I feel like Very well we've, been, we've been seeing this for a while now. And I don't know if this is necessarily, like I said, it's something nice. I'm glad that people did. Everybody got to listen to it. I mean. Yeah. I think. It's one of them things you got to listen to. Well, what do you think? Um. What do you think about the video personally? It's uh, it's kind of hysterical, but then it got- How's it hysterical? Cause it's, it's a white guy, right? With a black guy's voice. That's really odd. But then it tells his story, but then they like breaks in the character with all like the, the body movements and expressions. And it was like, oh, okay, I get it. Because he can't say half the words he was saying, but it was nice. I mean, he can just be an outrage on Twitter. Oh, yeah, they got way and more. And then my shoe would be talking about it. Like, <laughs> Ooh, I don't you like can't that. say that. You can't say it. So, you got to put some eyes on it. No, I'm not going to put eyes on my shoe. <laughs> but, yeah. I think it's really good because it's a conversation starter. Because yeah. we need to continue a conversation on race because we don't live in a post-racial society. Mm -hmm. There's nothing post-racial about the political climate that we have right now. Right. So having something that you know, people are really delving into and talking about on the series tip is definitely positive. So, and, and shout video, to that. And the video got a lot of hitting little stuff in it. Like, you see, like, the pillars breaking up them two, showing the divide in the two different worlds and aspects. You, you read an article on this? No, I just watched it. Like, you, it's like you watched Get Out and then read all the articles <laughs> after about all the symbolism. Oh, no, I was, I was <laughs> Like, living. did you notice that he had on a different color shirt than all the other people? Did he really? Yeah, it was like a scene where he had like on um, blue and everybody else had on red or something like that. And oh, it was like how he was different than everybody. But I'm like, oh, we just saw that everybody else was white and he was black. Oh, that, that nigga was for sale. Like, that's <laughs> that's all that was. He was just... And they was talking about the dude who was just like running the whole movie. Like that dude. Yeah, he's, he scared me for weeks. But yeah, man, check out the video. Definitely. Question of the day. Um... I pose a little question on the interwebs and what are the biggest challenges in regard to dating a single parent? We have a few responses here. Asia Williamson said, understanding that I don't have to play with people's grown as nappy head as sons. Don't have a lot of time to give. You don't say stuff like that to people. <laughs> T. Hall said maturity. People who aren't parents or not active don't understand how much time you need to give your children. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, we got another person say that patience, truthful, I don't know what that means, understanding and maturity. If you want that single parent, understanding requires patience and understanding that their schedule is not always open. Plans will be canceled, but if that's what you want, then actively and patiently pursue that route. Right. Maturity is simple. If you can't handle somebody, the children, coming before you in the initial stages, you're clearly not ready to date a single parent. And we had another person say that they don't have time to waste. If you know I have kids and don't want to be part of that, then don't talk to me. And then they put the she, little emoji. She just dropped the mic. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I think the one thing that his home with all these is everybody talking about maturity. Yeah. Um, and I, it's funny how grown people lack maturity. Like, I was at this thing the other day, and like, no, I was at a funeral. I was at a funeral. Okay. A funeral, bro. Yeah. And like. It was unmature people or bro, immature people? Like, the, uh, one of the expediter people, like the people on, not the stage, what do they call it in church? On, it's on the stage, whatever. They was like, shh, all right, we're we going to start. We need everybody to quiet down. I'm like, all oh, you got to tell grown people. But he was quiet. loud at a funeral. Bro, it was so loud. It was like, it was you. if it wasn't the guys getting in front, you thought that they just came to, like, kick it. <laughs> Bro. I haven't been to funeral in, like, three years. That's good, because there's people are going to funerals, like, every week this yeah, year it's, because people were dying. Cause it, black people were getting shot by police officers. Yeah, I, I, I'd be around those situations a lot of times. I don't know. Let us know what you think about dating a single parent. Let us know how you feel. 
Could you date a single parent? Would you Could even you, want yeah. to? I mean, yeah, like for me, I have. And, and have you ever kids. date somebody because you just wanted their kids? That's creepy. What type of pedophilia <laughs> no, are you talking about? No. Yo, yo, we do not condone this whole no, talk. No. We do not condone pedophilia. No, we are not, not with the whole Shut Russell up. Simmons Shut up. raping people in 87. Yo, yeah, no. we, I, we're not with the Harvey Weinsteins <laughs> and Al Frankens. We don't want none of that. Do not no, come on our shit. somebody just wants no. kids. Not, not like... <laughs> If you just want some kids of your own, would you date somebody because they got kids already and you don't want to have your own with somebody? God, that's what I'm saying. Okay, then say that. Don't say you want somebody's kids. <laughs> that is pedophilia. But you see how we live in this type of world? People think like that. Because it's people raping people. What your shoe got to say? <laughs> <laughs> raping people is not cool. Stop raping people. No, stay on the shoe. Don't get on my face. <laughs> raping people is not cool. And neither is raping children. I never. That's seen what it. I gotta say. Okay. Because it's not cool. It's hey, not. You should have reworded that. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. Be like everybody else that rape people. You didn't rape. <laughs> I people. didn't rape them. I'm just, I'm just saying. Damn. You, you see, saying see, this that. how this how media do you? They twist your words. They. <laughs> but you need to be like the people that rape people and apologize. That's why. Don't you didn't rape people? But are oh, you gonna take the mic off? I'm ill, Will. And I'm Willie B. And this is Will Talk. <laughs> I'm Willie B Music. And I'm Hill Will. <laughs> and this is Will Talks. So make yes, sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on push notifications, follow us at the Q brand, yep. and follow us respectively at Willie B Music. And it'll like Will. Share yep. the video. Share it a thousand times. Do that. Take that. What he said. <laughs>